welcome to the Pan Am Games. I understand that you've just arrived, Rio. Um, are you looking forward to it? And have you been in Pan Am Games before? Yeah, I was in the last Pan Am Games in Guadalajara, in Mexico. Okay. Um, um, I find certainly with the, the cyclists, most of them have the experience of the pro teams and the, the teams moving around together, but the Pan Am Games is quite a different thing. Uh, was that your experience four years ago and uh, again this time? Yeah, I mean, it was a good experience four years ago, but I think this year, with the games being in Canada, we're all a bit more excited about it. Um, it's, uh, it seems like uh, it's a really big organization. Uh, City of Toronto put up a very nice uh, setup for the, for the athletes and for, for the fans to, to come out and cheer, and cheer the athletes. You've only arrived one day ago, so I don't imagine you've had too much time to explore, and the course isn't open yet. But what do you think of the, the course that they've laid out, the, the route through High Park? Yeah, from what I understand, it's a uh, it's a fairly easy course. There's not. Um, it seems like there's a small hill in it, but um, I rode around High High Park this morning, and I didn't see any mountains, so I thought it's going to be uh, too uh, decisive in the in the bike race. Uh, we're going to go check the course tomorrow, so we might have a better idea. But I think it's just going to be important to play. Uh, Good tactic, and the four riders just play off each other really well and put some pressure on the, on the other big teams. And, um, yeah, just use our, our depth as a strength. And there is a lot of talent, especially between yourself and Hugo. Um, but younger guys like Sean, with his time trial yesterday, have shown that uh, he's got a lot of firepower. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, Gamey is a, is a really strong rider, too. Uh, he's got a good little kick, so we're, we're really, uh, we'd be happy to have him in a small group at the end, you know. And, uh, and been, like I said, we just have to um, use each other and just play as a team as much as possible because uh, the teams are too small to, to try to control anything for the whole race so we're just going to have to be uh, a bit smarter than the others I think because the course doesn't seem like there's any major difficulties on it. And are there any particular riders or teams that you're concerned about that you think that you really have to keep an eye on? I think Colombia's got a very strong team with the uh, Gavaria, who just won the Omnium, is world champion in the Omnium, beat it Cavendish twice at Tour San Luis earlier in the year, so uh, there's uh, that's one guy we might not want to ride with. But, uh, like I said, four guys maximum per team, it's, it's going to be uh, who's the most aggressive and uh, has a good day there, but uh, for sure we're going to have to be aggressive. Awesome, well, good luck on Saturday. Right, thanks.